Hello, my name is Mark Fassen. I'm the Global Head of Corporate and Sustainability Reporting at KPMG. And today we're looking at a major milestone, and that is the release of the first two standards by the ISSB, uh, the first two IFRS Sustainability Disclosure Standards. And I'm sure there are many more to come, but this is the beginning of the building of a global baseline on which local jurisdictions then can then start building their own sustainability reporting regime. And these two first standards are a huge step forward into bringing sustainability reporting and financial reporting much more on the same and equal footing, uh, and thereby also ensuring the much needed connectivity between sustainability information and financial statements. So let's have a look at what was released. There's two standards, one general disclosure standard and a climate related disclosure standard. And they both ask investor relevant information on all sustainability risks and opportunities, so not just climate. And they're structured around four content areas, um, governance, strategy, uh, risk management, and metrics and targets. And you will recognize these are the same areas that are also covered by the TCFD framework, which many companies already are applying this. The general standard introduces these areas and gives more practical guidance on how to apply them. And then the climate standard goes into the specific topic on how these relate to the climate uh, uh, related risks and opportunities. So what does it mean in practice? Um, both standards are effective from the 1st of January 2024 which is the same date as uh, the first adoption date for the European Sustainability Reporting Standards. And that's an ambitious date, but uh, it does reflect the, uh, the urgent need for better information in this area. Mandating these standards is not automatic, so it all depends on how local jurisdictions are going to deal with them. It's a choice that is to be made jurisdiction by jurisdiction, and obviously companies can also decide to uh, apply the standards voluntarily. So keep an eye on what is happening in the jurisdictions in which you operate in terms of their adoption. Applying the standards is going to be challenging, uh, for sure, for many companies, and the, the ISB has recognized that and therefore has uh, tried to make the standards as proportionate as possible so that they not, can not only be applied by the most sophisticated companies but also by others. And that includes uh, transition reliefs. Uh, including a climate first option where companies could actually only start using the climate standard first and then start reporting on all the other sustainability risks and opportunities at a later stage. What should you do now? Well, take a look at the standards, including what transi transition reliefs apply to you so that you can understand what adopting means for your business. And you do need to get ready now because the effective date, as I said, could be that you need to report as early as in 24. But even if you have to report later, uh, do consider the data need that you will have under these new standards and where you would get these data from. And also review your reporting systems, your processes and your controls, and whether they allow you to report sustainability information at the same time as the financial statements. I know that that will be a challenge for many companies. Do read our high-level guidance to help you get started and do watch this space because we will be releasing our KPMG First Impressions Handbook very soon, which will give you detailed insights on both these new standards. Watch this space. And if you would like more information, please do go to our website uh, where you will find much more information about these standards and, uh, and related topics. So thank you very much for your attention and I hope to see you at the next occasion. Thank you.